Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting KOS update. If you've ever had KOS lock up on you because of an error, there's help for that now. Now when there's a serious system error, you'll get a simple error message and be able to carry on without a problem. Here I'm attempting to print the target, which can't proceed because there is no target to be selected. So instead of freezing up KOS, it simply logs the error to a file and continues. Print time will now give you the Unix style time in, within the KSP universe. In other words, typing print time will give you the number of seconds that have elapsed since year one, day one, hour zero. If you need a more user-friendly representation, you can use clock. And if you want to get the calendar format, you can use calendar. You can also get each value individually. One thing I've been really bad at keeping up with is the documentation. In 0.8, I've started the process of overhauling it. I'll also be going on vacation this weekend, so there won't be any updates, but it'll be a great time for me to go over this and start adding in some of the new things. Does writing subprograms drive you crazy? Is that because of all of the end program messages you get as a result? Well, now there's a fix for that. Here I'm writing a program that calls another program. And now when I run it, you only get an end program statement when all of the programs have completed. And now for something exciting. You can now create maneuver nodes inside KOS. Here I'm adding a node 60 seconds after the current time. And I'm going to give it 400 meters per second of delta V in the prograde direction. And here we see that a maneuver node has been created with 400 meters per second of delta V in 52 seconds. You can also assign nodes to variables. And then add them using the add command. You can also query a node to get the delta V vector. But if you just want to get the magnitude, just use colon mag at the end. All vectors can now be queried for their magnitude. And we can see that this number agrees with the actual node. So now you may be wondering, now that we have that, can we get information about encounters? Yes, we can. I'll just quickly create this encounter with the moon manually to demonstrate. I can use next node to grab the information about the uh, the node I just created, even though I created it manually. And here I'll just grab the delta V magnitude of that uh, node. Okay, I can see I've got an encounter. Now I'll hit print encounter. And it shows me that that flight plan will result in an encounter with the moon. Now let's find out what the periapsis of that planned encounter is. And we can see here that the numbers match up. And of course, we can grab the ETA of that node. Now let's try locking the steering to the burn vector of that node. So now you have the ability to both steer towards the node and see how much delta V is remaining on that node. And of course you can also remove a node using the remove statement. So thanks for watching. I hope this opens up a lot of opportunities for people who are writing scripts. Until next time, hack responsibly.